Meow. Meow. Hi, it's Penny Bowden, crazy cat artist, with a polydactyl kitty today. My mom once had a polydactyl cat. Have you ever had one? If you have ever had a polydactyl cat, let me know in the comments. I love to hear from you. You can drop me a comment whether you had a polydactyl cat or not and let me know what you want to learn about cat drawing. Right now we're just kind of mapping out the shapes here. If you have an idea for a video, please put video idea in capital letters so I can find it quickly. Get that muzzle. And some spots for the eyes. I find it really helps to map those things out to get them in the right place and make things look convincing. And yes, we have a Facebook group and you are welcome to join if you are crazy about drawing cats. And you'll find the link for that group in the video description below. We'd be happy to have you if you're if you're passionate about drawing cats. That big mitt. And some toe beans. I am going four times the speed here and voicing over, so that's why I'm kind of zipping through it. A bit of fine tuning there. Not too much though. I want to keep it really loose and gestural. And you know what? Be in love with every stage of your drawing. I just love it now where there's very little details and just the suggestion. And sometimes that's one thing I've really found I, I lear have learned from making videos is sometimes I watch my videos when I'm doing my voiceover and I think, I should have stopped right there. And that's how I've learned to just take it easy. You know, just make sure every line counts. Only include the details you need. The rest are just distracting. And of course, that being said, everyone has their own style. So it's up to you to find yours. And yes, hit subscribe. We really appreciate subscribes here helps grow this amazing community of crazy cat artists and hit that little bell so you're reminded of the next video that pops up. Much appreciated. Just really darkening up some of the lines that that I think are the most important now and letting the other extra lines fade away into background tone. It's hard to know when to quit sometimes. You just got to always keep that in mind and remember that you're not drawing just to cover everything. Think about whether you really need any more or not. In that particular spot and for the whole drawing. It's more about the character than anything for me. And those tabby stripes really help shape the contour of the face. Just a suggestion of tabby stripes. It's easy to overdo it on the nose too. With those nostrils, I just like to have a suggestion of nostrils. And sometimes not even that. Sometimes the tiniest, tiniest suggestion. And all those little lines the suggestions of hair on the chest and stuff you may notice that they help kind of lead the eye around and in, in that um, nice rhythm that I've created for the drawing and we'll add some whiskers and thanks so much for watching and we'll see you next time